everyone and welcome to the show. My name is Josie Piri. On our show today, Going Wild as we look at forest foods and how they contribute to nutrition in Zambia with Mindenda Pande from the Department of Forestry. And wrap it up neatly with another recipe and facts on Did You Know? I'll see you right after this. They come from near, they come from far, and I am talking about forest foods coming from all over Zambia and the people who deal with them converging here at one of Lusaka's busiest market. Join me as I let myself loose and get the backstory. <laughs> Kunokswa <laughs> Ubuwe <laughs> Now, doctor wants a new win your boa. So to let on Baco Kuya Boba Teme Fimuti Mumpanga to a papa Tabatu Kereko. If you muting a fiapua, Uboa Nista Wakale is a edge tondo, ea lady, Quabana Chondo, Imona Kangafi, Stondo, a papadim Kwai Quaba, e nea lady, Fionce Fimena Murum Menenshi, Mumusangue Fimuti. So Ubusumandera and the Pogat, Mura Guatama Forest, Nangubala Quatem Pangesha Quate Fimuti. Sungeni fi muti pagwe watu ububo wa bule mena mo imwe na ifwe tule sangira mo amakwebo. Ena mkuwa ya machina ya ndi, nae wa mati uda na nkamba. Ndika lakuka wa sama, so ndeta business ya wawa. Nda wadeshi ya ngatuwa ya mpanga fi ya fi ine, vanu kula tuwa kanyika. Elo tuwa leta mkuwa ya mkuwa wadesha. Mule fi fi ine, nda sambilisha mwana wana. Hawa wana na wapusha na masukunu. Ni mkwata wakitu wafu watatu, so kila nga fuidisha hako. Eh, Bubuchi, Bofuma, Kumini Runga, area of Bumble from Macumpongue, Nanku, my area is the Ambi, Ayak Western Province, like Kulukulu. Ah, uh, Bubuchi, ah, eh, Bule to Afwasan, Bule to Afwasana, Pamandra Chila, a eh, business on the Chita, area of Fuma Monaca, Kalipari, hundred and fifty quatch, area of Akaka, five liters, Kalipari, ah, uh, three hundred. Uh, ubuchi mule tu wafuwa sana pantu wa bantu nala nave shiva Ukutila ubuchi uh, Mule ama health benefits uh, Mali shiva ubuchi Bupangwa kumaluwa Haya apsana apsana uh, Na fimi tifi apsana apsana Kanshi ubuchi Kuliko na fimi bifingi Efiwa winga fuilisha kumibidi ya bantu Na bantu bale ba advise Bivini ukupitila kuma hospital Otu kwete bale bebo kutila ubuchi what were beneficial. So a business he then to all upon in a pant and chipali in on star. When I na inga fwa like mu twenty nineteen na inga for sana of which uh ninja shop which tan nasta plot in okukula fi ninku loku pitila mo muli ubu in your watch. So tatulingi de because ubuchi bufuma kumaluba. So tatulingi de ukula tema uh if he meet cause an inshiadia maluba yaka fuma quiz. Naturete mate me fimti so uh, deforestation te chintu chimwe chisumayo Ine zine zine anga ndine make airini ipese ka mbh market na kosere sa bonse bazimai na zibamba bakazidya ko vinkwala vinkwala nzabu na vichoka musanga kuna pasa ko ma proteins ya mbili mtupi Okay zina anga ndine chimuma kayombo nacho ka kaoma so mungoyo namba mu Mu 2006, nenzo chito kuleta, kuchoka kuja, kuleta kuno, kugulisa, kulikazita ntijamo wana, family, kumasukuru. Mbati olobantu, 
Bonzi ma trade kings ama world. Ama gora ugura wa meno mapanga chivwantu. Mapanga chani. Bantu bonzi. Ok. Mapeza mota ndizo. Mama choka kutali. Mama nguwena kukumonzi. Ama bulo oda mkoyo. Vaenda mapeleka. Masaka chima imaleta 1,000 bandrus. Utu. Tuli 1,000. Mkoyo usira. Kaya umuka kumba. Ngati masala kamuju kamozi. Ndiye peo shooting. Ngati sumu na sale kamuju pansi paja. Su shooting. So ni shuwe nda usira chabe. Apa kwa sashe wae. Mwe kwa sashe mupaki kwa siya. Ndiye mwasara. So machita ngati ni mupaki. Nukuenda kuforesti. Mwagula pepa. Ndiye pepa mifu mekeza fute tinge nani mushani. Mungene mushani. Mungene mpasa che two weeks. Mufu nika machoka fute. Inendi nemesi mwombo. Vamene ni magulisa. Ni magulisa vakudia bebe machoka msanga. Vamene vilibe ma chemicals. Especially masamba. Yamene ya matandiza vantu kuma BP na kushuga. Vili monga boa vima zimerela chabe. Ni vama msanga vonsi. So, sanga ima titandiza na vintu vevili na cholo maningi, vevili be makemikos. Mfula ngata ile moneka nge fine ya lo kele last year, chika ndata ya mene ni mwino wini. Ta imena, kana ena ifi womba na amenshi. Amenshi nga ya fula na ena ila fula. Amenshi nga ya chepa na ena ila chepa. Mkwa, pandita tute fili mwe, fimena fie fili. Ya fine fia ni fimena mumpa, ngefa na fia na fimene fia. Tula senda tuwa ya vika nge fini wa viki. Elo tuwa suka, tuwa suka, tuwa suka. Kusuka kona ngu miku fo. Paku tilo wa lipo. Olo tuwa tuwa la patuma shinyutu. Tuwa gaisha. Tuwa panga paudi. Mungu mwana kwenye nubushe chikanda kuti. Kwa isa kwa time weo. Kinga la biyala. Kwa isa kwa biyala matama. Ati. Shishiwe. Ukweisha limbukuti ya mena. Nyo mba pantu ififia fumafia kulile isa mwe. Fumafia kulile isa fifintu. Ukubiala. Ukweisha limbukuti fia mena. Ukweisha. Bati tatuwaesha hapu. Ine Filipu Banda, business yanga ya vima uyu. Vima uyu hivi, ni business ya metisha muna mtau. Tika gulisa, lena nguwa matengako Vijavene vichoka mkati umu. Vama pika kupika mwazi na miyuki. Vama panga magazi. Kuma ngati mutadwa la duwala. Kumako vamene hivi ngatalipe magazi. Vima tandizira. Vena vama panga maizi bloko. Mameno mwagulisa gulisa mtau ni wakuma vimpe kabuno nditu. Mpaka tunama usika ya. Yufu vamene vama kamba kutika wawasha vama na zatu vama na mtau. Vose business yake ni mozi na imozi. Na hapo vima chita reduce, hati vima chita reduce BP. Na CD4. Na CD4 account. Waka mbatero wambiri wamene wama sasa wamene hivi. But chametika mbapo nchakuti wamene wama bweleza hivi makamaka usika hivi. Tifuna makamaka kuwa uza kumbali ono nga mitengo sifu niko ujua. Kwa hivi vitu vitu tandiza kuna kutaunu. Mpaka mawuyo ayo. Kwa mawuyo, tinaumwai wako timitengo yake siya juhika. Kwa vima kala vikuru. So wama chita kukola, chabe mmoja mwamba kukasha so. Ndiyepa mene nchito ya hivi vintu. Mene tisenzesa. Mene tigulisa muna mtau ni. Kwa mene vati sungira mafamile ziyatu. Mpaka kumizi kwa tu vati ziwa kutindia nchito ya hivi vintu. Mene tisenzesa. Shua so gore. Hehe, malisho wa ubu uchiwa di la ndirepo na mubaibo. Kukuti ila uko mkeka la kuchalo fecha barua ni kuliogo kukenani. Kukasa nguo ubu uchi no mkakata. Kwa alichimbecho wa ala ndirepo mubaibo yo. Kukasa nguo fi ubu uchi, tika wachalo chavu uchi no muka, no mukaka. So zambia na yonga chava chalo chavu uchi no mukaka. Hawa mukala mwoneka fi abo mibonsi. What an exciting journey it has been visiting the market and meeting the people who deal in forest foods. And now let's find out a little more from the forestry department. Welcome back to the show. When I was a child, 
I remember joining a gang of adventurous boys and we'd often go into the forest, catapults in hand, foraging for wild tasty fruits like Imfungo, Amakole, Ifinsa, Magabo, Matakofo, and so much more. Ah, uh, those were the days. Now, before I get carried away, let me introduce my guest. His name is Mindenda Pande, a forestry officer from the Department of Forestry. Our focus in this discussion is on how forest foods contribute to nutrition in Zambia. Mindenda, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. Great. Now, to start the show, let's just uh, talk about uh, the duties of the Department of uh, Forestry. Uh, the Forestry Department is responsible for uh, ensuring sustainable, sustainable management of the forestry uh, resources throughout the country. And then in doing that, we try to aim or to make sure that the forest continue providing the um, products and services. So when I talk about products, there are non-wood forest products where most of the uh, nutritional aspects which you were talking about come from and then there's also the wood products but apart from that there are also some other ecosystem services which the forests provide so the department uh, ensures that we do we manage the forest resources which we have as a country properly to ensure that uh, these services continue being provided just to get a little bit more of clarification would those resources include animals uh, the animals and the wildlife is uh, managed by a different uh, uh, department. However, the forestry department manages the habitat. So this is uh, the home where the wildlife uh, stays. So we make a major contribution towards uh, sustainable management of the wildlife as well by ensuring that the trees are there, by ensuring that uh, uh, the vegetation which uh, these animals feed on uh, continues uh, being there in uh, uh, adequate quantities to support uh, the wildlife populations. Now today we are talking about uh, nutrition and uh, how the forests contribute to nutrition. When we look at uh, Zambia, how much do they contribute? Um, I think right now there's a study which we are doing, working with uh, some cooperating partners, trying to get the exact figures. But uh, what I can say is that they make a significant contribution. If you look at the people who live in the rural areas and then those, even those that live around the forests, they actually depend a lot on the forest resources. I think even for those of us who are in the urban areas, we also uh, get a lot of products uh, from the um, forest reserves. So in terms of contribution to nutrition, if you look at the uh, mushrooms, this is a peak period when we have a lot of uh, mushrooms during the rain season. Oh yes, and I so, love them. <laughs> yes, so those come from, mm. uh, from the forest. Without the forest, you cannot get the mushrooms. So there are different uh, products which uh, are collected. There are um, uh, wild fruits which are collected at different uh, points or times of the year. So there are even other edible uh, vegetables which uh, people or communities collect depending on which part of the country you come from. So they make a significant contribution to nutrition. Thank you very much. Does the Department of Forestry have a, a database? Have you written down these uh, foods and uh, their seasonality? Yes, we have uh, some documents, I think, where this uh, information can be obtained. I think there are a number of uh, documents which were produced in the past uh, where this information can be collected. So there's even a, a calendar of, um, a, a calendar of uh, which products are available at which time of the year. Yeah, That's very interesting and I hope it's uh, available to the public. We've got very few copies, but uh, what I'd like to say is that uh, the ministry has got a website, so we're currently working on trying to put up some of that information on the uh, ministry website. 
Now, since you have this uh, database, are you talking uh, with the National Food and Nutrition Commission? How are you collaborating? Uh, we've been working closely with the commission. Uh, we've been working very closely with them. There are a number of uh, uh, studies which are ongoing where we collaborated. One of them was trying to uh, establish the nutritional value which can be obtained from uh, some of these um, uh, wild, wild fruits or foods which we can which we obtain from the forest because sometimes uh, for the foods which we obtain from uh, the conventional farms you are easily able to tell what is the nutritional content how much starch how much energy you obtain or but for the wild fruits there have been very few studies so i think there are studies which are ongoing where that information is being uh, tabulated well, I'd like to ask you this question, uh, and uh, that's because you mentioned the word sustainability as we were talking. Things like uh, cutting down trees indiscriminately, charcoal burning, uh, uh, bad methods of uh, farming are threatening the food forests. So what advice do you have for the public regarding this? Uh, my advice would be to ensure that we protect our environment, protect our natural resources in general, because uh, the, some of the damage which is done might not be seen right now, but uh, over a long period of time you realize that uh, I'm sure you're aware that people have been talking about climate change. Cutting down of trees alters the environment significantly. So that alteration of the environment also affects what grows in that environment and then um, what animals, what uh, insects uh, will be there. So those alterations will impact on the nutrition as well, water availability, how our rivers flow. So it has got a very big, big impact. So it's important that we protect our environment, we reduce on cutting down of trees to ensure that uh, the forests are well maintained. Is there a deliberate uh, education drive towards uh, enlightening the public on this? Yes, there is. Um, under the forestry department, we've got the forest extension uh, uh, branch where this is done. So there are educational materials, educational programs and activities which are done trying to sensitize members of the public about uh, the importance for, for maintaining these forests or for sustainable management. Let's talk about uh, value addition. How can uh, members of the public or those who are interested add value to forest foods? Yeah, uh, I think that is where we actually have a big gap. It's a gap, and then at the same time, it's also a very big opportunity. You know, in terms of uh, the trends right now, people are trying to shift away from processed foods, highly processed foods. So if we talk about uh, non-wood forest products or foods which are wild foods, these are organic foods, uh, pure from nature without being uh, adulterated by any uh, harmful chemicals. So what is lacking is, uh, I would say, mainly uh, storage facilities and then linking up to the market, uh, market value chain development for most of them. But uh, in some provinces, we've been working with some uh, cooperating partners also trying to see how these uh, value chains can be developed so that uh, we see how these uh, foods can also be processed properly and stored properly to, to get to the market and to increase the shelf life. Thank you very much. Maybe my last question as we wind up, how do you hope to collaborate uh, further with the National Food and Nutrition Commission, especially in 2020? Um, I think uh, by sharing information and then uh, also participating in the programs which uh, the Commission has been promoting, I would say.
Mindenda Pande, thank you very much for coming on to Putting Nutrition First in Zambia. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Cookery time, so sit up all ye with culinary minds. Here is today's recipe. My name is Nance Kafunga. I'm here to talk about nutrition. And as you can see, I have baobab yogurt. In our local language, we call it mabuyu. Um, the ingredients of making baobab yogurt, uh, you get milk, uh, sugar, and warm water. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. And remember, we're also on Facebook. Like us there and visit our website on the address given below. From me and my production crew, I'm Josie Piri, signing off. Time to take action